What is going on everybody? My name is Noble and in today's video we are playing Forager and I'm going to attempt to show you what the easiest fish trap management system is so that you can go ahead and automate it. Now I have been seeing things uh, online, people asking for the easiest way to automate fish traps. And I'm not sure whether it's for catching fish, sand if you're looking to make glass, or uh, just trying to get some of the, uh, of the rare items that you might find in Forager. So here is what I've come up with, I think is the best way to, uh, to automate them. I have seen a lot of people posting online that late game you can unlock droids or build droids to automate those fish traps for you. And I think I've got an easier thing, though it is gonna be based on luck. So the first thing that you're gonna want to get, and again, this part is based on luck, you're gonna wanna get an artifact called the fish net. Now you get these artifacts by unlocking treasure chests as you clear islands or do puzzles. And I was lucky enough to go ahead and get the fish net. So you're definitely going to need that. And that's going to be a luck based thing. But once you get that, you're also going to need a couple of things unlocked in your skills. So if you go to skills, you're gonna wanna go the economic path right here. And you're gonna move one to the right. Now this is gonna give you storage. This unlocks vaults. Vaults are good for keeping your inventory uh, easier to manage, right? Because if you, if you fill up your backpack, you're not gonna be able to carry anything. So you wanna make a couple of vaults. And then on top of that, you wanna move up and to the right one and go to management. Management says items may be sent to vaults from your inventory and vaults may have locked item slots. So as you guys can see, I've got four vaults here and this is where I keep all of my food. We don't have fish yet because I just was trying to set up for this video. But uh, once you have those three items, you're going to make as many fish traps as you want. So we're gonna go ahead and make a couple of fish traps here. The best thing about this is if you get all of these items, you don't really have to worry. So we're gonna wait for a little while for those fish traps to work. All right guys, so we just caught our very first fish and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside my fish, or inside my vault, and we're going to lock it to that area. Now, I've also got sand here. So we've got sand here. And then we also have, uh, I think we're gonna put seaweed in here as well as an edible. Lock that there. And as you guys can see, now that we have all three of those things, like I said, you're gonna need the fish net, you're going to need vaults, and you're going to need management so that you can lock all of those items in to your vault. I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit, and you guys can see everything is automated. I got three fish now. I did not put it in my inventory, but it is automatically going to our vaults. The same thing will happen with sand, seaweed, any gems that you may find at the bottom of the ocean or anchors. And uh, I'll just stand here for a little bit longer so that you guys can go ahead and see how it's working. So hopefully you guys see that this is probably the best way to automate fish traps, I think, in my personal opinion. Uh, if you guys like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like. And uh, I am doing a new playthrough of Forager, although I am just uh, starting out and just trying to solve all the puzzles. So I'm not trying to mid-max or anything like that. But if you guys are interested in Forager, want some more tips, or if you found this tip useful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.